put you in certain situations like that. Check this out. This is what's crazy right here. And it's going to seem like, uh, like, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. But watch this. You're gonna, you're, it's going to really, it's going to put a little spark on your spine right now. Watch this. Uh, I sit there and went back and we watched the fight with the, uh, uh, Carlos Molina. I went back and watched the fight. And my own teammate, the people that are in my camp, the people that are supposed to have my best interest at heart, these people that are supposed to be in my team, I sit there and watch the way they interact with the cut man that was on my side. They see that regardless of how the circumstances they came out, that the fight was supposed to be eliminated, disqualified, regardless because of whatever what just happened. Anybody knows the circumstances, but when you got your own teammate cussing him out, telling him to shut up because he's getting that disqualification and you got to stop this fight regardless of whatever it is, the customer now is trying to tell him to shut up. And when you're seeing that and you're looking at that from the from the camera and you're looking like, damn, how all these people got my best interest at heart? And so it's a lot of things to it because a lot of people like like me, I'm gonna put it out there. I don't care if no one don't like me when I say this. When I saw Carlos Molina, I was offered two pills, two black pills in the fight. And say, Cousin, take these uh, black pills right here. I take them because you, you're thinking that your coach and your manager got your best interest at heart. So you take them. As soon as I took those pills, I mean that maybe 10 minutes into the fight, I mean 10 minutes into getting ready to prepare for that fight, I felt like I was high as a kite. I felt like I, I was seeing two people. So I'm like, man, what the hell is this? So I'm so to psych on myself up because you're, in a, you're, you're already in a mode that you know that you have to fight. You have to give it your all. You know, and I know that this guy right here is an awkward cat, so I have to be on my on my game plan 100% to, to be able to beat the cat because I know he's awkward. I know he can't really take a punch, but he's awkward. You know, so my game plan is to get in, to let my hands go at the same time, press, major press. But I'm so delirious and so messed up is that I can't even put any force, any effort into pressing because my, my time is off, my uh, equilibrity is off, my movement is not off, off pace, so I can't perform where I need to perform. So the whole time I turn to watch Curtis not fighting like himself, then I mess my arm up, tear everything, my ligaments and all my stuff, and my arm. But you're not trying to show that you're hurt because I learned that game a long time ago. So, you do the best thing you know is, and that's just stay in there, keep fighting, keep pressing, keep pressing. Something got to give. And what did, what did God say happen? During all that hard work of pressing and pressing, I either sweat that stuff out or it worked through my system. So therefore, I can be able to interact and punch the way I can punch. And boom, I drop it. They give it my eight count, it's first time, and just want to jump up in the ring, and they miss the eight count, and just qualify. My team, they're yelling, fuck, all these bad things. I'm like, wow, man, what's, what is all that from? And then my, and then my trainer gets in the ring and tells the person that I fought, and no matter what happens, no matter what happens, your trainer is never supposed to get in the ring and tell somebody else, you won the fight. Are you serious? This is your team. These are the people that are probably supposed to be for me. Not a, not against me, but for me. But they're 100% against me. So I said, damn, what am I getting myself into? So I, I, I go back and I look at a lot of different things and I try to uh, uh, try to tell my, take myself out to make myself think that it was right. Because you're just thinking weird. But every everywhere I try to rethink it and try to uh, try to think of a different way, it doesn't add up. The only thing that makes sense is when it makes sense. You know, and it makes touch, it makes completely best. Anybody with a, that's retarded can even understand this. Hey, man, something's not going on right. Yo, that's James Kirkland on theboxingvoice.com. I got the link there, so you want to listen to the whole interview, you can go right to their website. It's in the description box. And they have other interviews on there with Robert Garcia and... That's man, that's more to that interview that's going on. I just want to give you guys a little snippet of what's going on and what in the world is going on with these mystery pills. Mystery black pills. I'm gonna try to get Ann Wolf on the phone. Uh, 
and see if she want to answer or comment to it. I know if I know Ann, she ain't going to want to get involved in this uh, too much. So I'll at least try. But let me know um, what you think. Leave your comments. I'll be reading them. Peace.